one of the essential ingredients of being a good captain is, uh, is gaining the trust of uh, your players. In my experience, that was the single most thing that I tried to achieve. And the way I tried to achieve that is to, by developing um, relationships with each and every individual on terms outside of the game of hockey, um, more on a personal term. Uh, so I understood where they were coming from and what motivated them. And I think through that, uh, they, they learned that um, they could trust me and we developed a relationship that uh, was key to, uh, to uh, uh, I guess, leading them in a way. You know, candor and leadership are, are very important. I knew that, that day would come where I would have to be very candid, um, where I would have to speak the truth, um, where I'd have to be very honest in an assessment. And I think as John Wooden said very eloquently, that um, good leadership, good coaching is being able to give correction without resentment. What I tried to do was establish those relationships to earn the trust of the players. And so when I had to be honest and candid and truthful in an assessment at any one particular time, the players didn't take it uh, personally. They, didn't, they weren't resentful of my honesty and uh, they respected it. And I think that kind of is a very important quality. When I look back, um, you know, to my childhood and growing up and the people that inspired me and, and I felt were great leaders, starting with my dad who was a hockey player but was also an educator. I got his master's degree in education and taught uh, kids, uh, underprivileged kids. And so then he coached me as well. And so when I think back of all the people that um, started me on this journey, uh, my father was one of those guys that um, instilled those qualities I think that you're talking about. He was very inclusive um, in his teams. He made everybody feel very um, important. Um, I remember from years uh, being stick boy on his junior teams and the, and the social gatherings that he would ho have in, in, to create that kind of brotherhood and bond. And so that always stuck with me that um, it was important to make everybody feel important, uh, that everybody had a voice, everybody um, was being heard. And, um, and I think that quality really sustained me uh, over my career. I'm still learning about leadership. Um, I think only later in my career um, did I start asking myself questions about, you know, why is all this happening? Uh, you know, you know, you know we'd won six Stanley Cups and people were s talking in certain terms. And so then you start, I personally got curious and started asking questions. And then, of course, when I retired, I really was forced to peer into leadership on a more uh, in-depth uh, basis and to figure out what it is leadership. Uh, you know, what did I do that would be considered leadership uh, through my career? Who are the leaders in my life um, uh, from the time I was a boy to all the way through my journey through minor league hockey and then the pros and who remain leaders that I respect to this day? And so when I read last year's uh, speaker, General Hillier, uh, it's just a reminder that uh, I don't know anything <laughs> about leadership, <laughs> and which is uh, which is great uh, because uh, it's so complex. Uh, there's so many elements of leadership. There's so many um, different views of what's uh, important, uh, and the wordsmithing around leadership. Um, it's just uh, very inspiring to me to continue to learn. And I think if you're curious and you're, you ask questions, um, then I think the, their, their answers are there. But it's been a great journey for me since I've been retired. Um, um, because when you're playing, you're more focused in on you know, what you're doing and what needs to be done. And you're reacting more than, than searching. Uh, since I've been retired, I've been more searching. And uh, it's been uh, an amazing journey for me. Uh, I would say, that I don't know if it's challenging, uh, the most challenging part of being a leader. I'm not sure if challenging, I would use the word challenging. I would say responsibility. Um, it's a huge responsibility to be uh, put in a leadership role. Um, and one that I didn't take lightly, 
because of the consequences that were um, attached to it in the team success. Uh, any team success has to have good leadership, great leadership. But leadership just doesn't have to come from one person. And I was lucky enough to have incredible people around me that uh, shared the same kind of vision and same kind of ideas that were important to a team's success. And so when you talk about help and you talk about people that you surround yourself with, I was incredibly lucky to have the guys that I played with, not only the guys I played with, but the guys that coached me and the guys that were managers and the guys that were owners uh, to share the same kind of philosophy and the discipline that it takes to, to do it. And so um, the challenging part was the responsibility and to never waver. And so what you soon realize is that uh, words are only words unless you put action to them. So marrying your philosophy and living your philosophy of leadership becomes paramount to any success. You can't live and be speaking out of one side of your mouth and, and your actions do differently. I was lucky enough to play um, professional hockey for 26 years. I was also lucky enough to have good people around me for 26 years that I didn't I attach my identity to the, the hockey player. So I think that's a very important uh, element to, um, to a person that uh, um, has, a, has a career in anything, um, that you don't feel the, your purpose is in that um, um, sport or music or whatever it is because it's short-lived and that your identity can be much bigger and grander than that. And the way in to get through that is by having good people around you to keep you grounded and keep your, and also to uh, be, you know, searching for more. And that's, what, you know, that's what I was, so when you talk about the greatest achievement, I think that it's hard to say because if you look at, uh, from a sporting standpoint, we play our sport to win. I was lucky enough to do, be a, a part of a team that did that six times and, and, and then on international level, some, some, some championships. So that's what we play for. Um, but um, there's many other aspects of, of my life that I'm just as proud of from a, from, a, from a person standpoint as well.